Welcome to Rapid Fire, navigating this week's current events in three minutes or less. So I had a tweet this week about the U.S. Postal Service and it went viral. It's the biggest tweet, uh, you know, impressions that I've had since I've been on Twitter. It's almost 4 million people saw that tweet. And it was really talking about how the U.S. Postal Service is being taken advantage of by Amazon, UPS, and FedEx. Now, people may think that I'm a logistics expert because I came up with this tweet. Actually, I was sitting at dinner with a friend of mine who is actually a logistics expert, and he explained the process to me. Many of the long haul deliveries are handled for Amazon, FedEx, and UPS by the US Postal Service because that's the most expensive part of the journey. And then some of the final mile is also you know, done by the US Postal Service for some of those routes, particularly in rural communities that Amazon, FedEx, and UPS find to be not profitable for their business. So in essence, they're giving some of the hardest jobs and the, and the least profitable jobs to the US Postal Service to help their business. Now, this ensures that the US Postal Service continues to run a deficit while Amazon, FedEx, and UPS run an enormous profit. The Postal Service is supposed to be for the betterment of the American people. It's about bringing us closer together physically. So a stamp for sending a letter to Congress is cost the same as if you mailed it from Washington DC, as if you made, mailed it from, Cal, from California or Alaska or Hawaii. We want to bring the country closer together. That's why the US Postal Service is so important. But what we don't want to do is enable these large corporate uh, entities that make profit to profit on behalf of the American people. So they should be doing their own long haul delivery. They should be doing their own last mile delivery and not leveraging the Postal Service. Or if they do, they should be paying in a way that the Postal Service actually gets to make a profit or at least break even. The Postal Service was instituted for the United States in order to have people able to, you know, essentially petition their government. It's a, it's a necessary function in a society. This idea that we want to get rid of the Postal Service is actually counter to who we are as a nation. It really brings us together. And so we need a Postal Service, but we need the Postal Service not to be taken advantage of by these large corporate entities. Thanks for watching Rapid Fire. Make sure to leave comments below, like and subscribe, and hit that bell to be notified of the next episode. Make sure to follow me on Twitter at Robert underscore Spalding.